Hey everybody, I'm Mom Castro. 17.3 is... Not going to include the dumbbell. Haha, -ha, gotcha. 17.3 is... Going to include the barbell. 17.3 is... Not nearly as complicated as I'm about to make it with this blackboard. 17.3 is a squat snatch ladder with all these numbers right here. I like numbers. And if you take all these numbers and you divide them by the square root of the number of awkward pauses in this presentation, then you get this special workout, this special test and challenge right here that you're all going to have to look up on the internet because it's not going to make sense. So let me take this moment to explain for postpartum and pregnant moms some modifications that might help you get through 17.3 without injuring yourself. So let's talk about those pull-ups first. <clears throat> so. Safety first with these pull-ups if you are bulging at the linea alba, moms who are pregnant if you're doming. That's a good indication that your abdominals are not engaging properly and you should probably back off of that um, or if you're peeing. These are jumping pull-ups that are supposed to be in the scale division. So if the jumping makes you pee, you should probably not do that. Um, so those can be hard on your pelvic floor and reduce your abdominal engagement. So um, if you're actually able to do those without peeing or bulging, then go fine, go ahead and do the jumping pull-ups. If you're not able to keep that abdomen engaged while you're jumping, it's like a transition from one activity to the other and sometimes your abs will get lost in the mix when there's so much going on. Um, if that's happening for you, what you can think about doing is doing banded pull-ups. Um, if that's still making your linea alba bulge or it's just not working or you're afraid about diastasis recti, what you can do is just work on ring rows, okay? So ring rows, the further you stand close to vertical, the easier they are. If you want to make it a little bit more spicy, you just go closer to parallel to the ground, okay? So those are the things that you can do for pull-ups. Let's talk about squat snatch. There are two primary reasons that the squash stash really concerns me for pregnant and postpartum women. Um, one of the things is bottoming out, and the other part is flaring of the ribs. So let me show you what I'm talking about so that you can look for it. Uh, a good thing that I recommend doing is actually working out in a place where someone can either film you, take pictures of you, or you can see yourself in a mirror. <clears throat> so that you can check and make sure your body isn't doing these things. So let me show you what it looks like for me, and then I'll show you how to fix it. <coughs> so let's talk about bottoming out first. So bottoming out happens for a lot of women, especially those who are hypermobile, like myself. So what happens is you go into the squat snatch and you get all the way to the bottom here where your hips are very very much below your knees this is further down than you need to go okay so that is bobbing out that's what i was talking about this can be a problem for your hips especially when you're pregnant and your pelvic floor postpartum so i'll show you in a second um, how to fix that um, the second thing, overhead movement, can sometimes make ribs flare, especially this overhead movement for the overhead squat or the snatch. So, when the arms are out here, sometimes folks don't have the shoulder mobility to get the bar in the correct position, so what they end up doing is flaring their ribs to get the bar back further, okay? So let me just show you. When you flare your ribs, your linea alba is actually attached to your ribs. So when you flare your ribs, that stretches the linea alba. And then when you load up this bar with weight, that means you are putting loaded, you're putting a load on your stretched linea alba that's probably already injured if you're a person who's watching this. Okay, so let me talk about how to work on that in a second. 
But if your ribs are in a good position, so I'll show you the difference. So if I'm flaring, that's going to pull. If you can keep your ribs over your pelvic um, girdle, you're fine. Okay. So if, the, if you're not flaring, that, don't worry too much about that part. But we'll talk about how to fix that in just a second. So let's talk about bottoming out and how to fix that. If you have a medicine ball or you can stack up a few plates behind you, one of the strategies to fight bottoming out is to put that right behind you. And then when you do your squat snatch, it shows you how far you can go down before you come back up. So that's one of the things that you can do, or you can just switch to a power snatch. So don't go into the squat at all. So if you're bottoming out, um, just switch to a uh, power snatch, or reduce the range of motion or catch yourself with a, um, a wall ball or stacker plates or something. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the ways that you can scale this, if you're one of those people who's having trouble finding this mobility thing is just to reduce the weight. If you're worried about the weight that it's putting on your linea alba when it's stretched out, then reduce the weight. Another thing that you can do is switch to a squat clean or power clean and jerk. Um, so this way you'd still get the stimulus of a highly dynamic weighted movement but not necessarily as compromising positions. I'm actually just going to do a squat clean. I'm not even going to jerk it overhead because I'm a little bit nervous about my stubborn linea alba right now. So you can switch to a movement that's a little bit more safe that'll give you a similar stimulus to the squat snatch. Um, so reduce the weight, switch to a, some sort of clean, or if you're um, currently pregnant, in the later parts of your pregnancy and your body is really large, what you can do is use kettlebells or dumbbells for this movement if you're afraid about the, the bar path hitting your belly or you're just not comfortable with that. You can switch to dumbbells. Um, if you watched last week, I even talked about how, you know, if your belly, if it's uncomfortable for you to get a dumbbell off the ground, what you can do is stack up plates beside you so that you can reach the dumbbell at about the height that you would be able to reach the bar at so you're not uncomfortable trying to re reach down too low and hard on the back. So those are some helpful strategies to get moms and postpartum, well, pregnant and postpartum moms through 17.3 without getting injured. So Mama Castro, out. Good luck, ladies.